Yes guys, welcome back to another video on the channel. Now today's a bit of a different one. Um, I've not really done anything like this, partly because I haven't had a car before, so I can't make a first car tour. But yeah, this is a first car tour for me. Um, I don't know if anyone wants to see this, but if you do, yeah, you're probably on this video watching. I, uh, I don't know. Anyway, I don't think there's too much to say. Um, it's a second hand car that I bought, my first car. Obviously, um, I'm, I'm 18, I haven't passed yet, but I'm, I've got my test booked in. And yeah, it's just sitting on my drive right now, so I thought I'd do a car tour, show you guys around. And I've got another video coming about uh, accessories that I'm going to buy for it and like pimp it out a bit. So uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do that in another video. But yeah, I think we'll get the keys and get straight into the car now. Outside, oh god, there's my neighbour. That is so awkward. That is two hours later. All right, then, so we're out. Obviously, door behind me. It's gonna be a bit weird because the car is literally chucked into a bush because we've got four cars on the drive my mum's, my sister, my dad's, and mine. Um, so yeah, do my best to cover all the number of plates, don't want anything happening. But I've got the key here, and you might have just seen that. That oh, is so awkward. Someone just walked past then. Give me the weirdest look. Anyway, you might have seen the key now already. Well, there it is. So, you know, it's a Peugeot. Probably you can guess. Probably thinking first car's gonna be a 107, 108, a 207, 208, maybe a 206 if you're going old. But um, yeah, I think it was just time to show you. I don't know if I'm gonna do any like cinematics or anything. I don't. I, I haven't got a clue. I, I'm not. I'm not. Blah, 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 blah. I'm new to all this. Fly in my head. Oh, it's all going wrong here. Yeah. Let's just show you the car. Oh, this new crazy mother! I have no idea what I just filmed, man. I'm in the car now. You would have seen some sort of outside shot of it, and obviously we're in here now. I'll give you a little uh, show around, so um, I don't know if anyone cares. This is the key. Um, like I said, well, I'll, I'll talk about what the car is. So it's a Peugeot 207 1.4 diesel. Um, obviously, diesels are probably going to go extinct. Uh, nah, I'm joking, but like obviously they're stopping selling them. I think they might even stop selling them already, like from brand new. And um, obviously they'll be all right for now and for the future for the for a while. But um, diesels, I learn in a diesel, um, and then I drive a blue the blue car. You might have seen um, I drive that as well. And that's a pet. Right, a little backstory on it. Um, it was I was looking around second hand cars. Obviously I can't afford the first hand car. I was 17 when I bought this. Um, just turned 18, and um, we we actually found my sister's friend, someone or ever. Uh, selling their car and we went and had a look not too far from where I live and um, yeah literally had a look and it was all everything I needed wanted so um, yeah we bought it uh, I went for the price because I don't think it really matters it was a good price um, and then yeah it was 83,000 miles on the clock so it's quite a bit but not too bad I've seen Peugeot's go to like 120 uh, 120k so um, this will be fine and um, maybe I'll buy a new car in the future. Well, obviously I will in the future, so should last me a good couple of years. Yeah, another thing, um, he's a carpenter, which is why he's buying, uh, selling this car to buy a van, and which is why the seats are a little bit dirty, um, where he put like his tools and stuff, and he didn't like doing that, so we wanted to buy a van. So that's also why a few parts are dirty, but apart from that, it was in like really, really good condition. So um, I think we'll just get around to showing you inside. Let's jump in then, here we, here we go, so. Oh god, right then. Shut that. So, um, right, we're in now. You can see uh, we got my lovely legs. My new, my new craps, let me know what, what are you saying. They're not Air Force, they're called 
low quartz or low vision or something. Anyway, um, lovely little air freshener that doesn't actually smell that nice. I think it's, it might be a rose, I don't know. Um, anyway, so forget that. Here we are, the wheel is looking slanted, but you might notice this little cover. Um, I might, I'll pull up a photo maybe there of what, what it was looking like. It was a little bit, because he's had it for a while, a little bit scuffed around there, so we just bought this. Um, that'll be in my car accessory video which is coming next. Anyway, steering wheel, pretty standard. There's literally an airbag and a horn. That's about it. Um, we've got our little indicators and everything. Um, I, I know you guys will know all this. Um, we've got revs, speedo, um, petrol, and uh, what's the other one? Temperature. Um, I think I think I don't really know. I'm not a massive car guy. Um, but we've got, you know, where you chuck your key in. I think this is um, for the, what's it called? The, um, God, you can tell I don't know much. Um, for the radio and that, all that business. Um, we've got a, that's all your lights and stuff, isn't it? Um, yeah, nothing interesting there. Um, actually, that might be a lights. Honestly, guys, I don't know. I haven't studied it. Um, this is to change the, you know, angle and direction of them. And we've got, obviously, our windows and the first bit of dirt there. Um, obviously, like I said, he was a carpenter, so it's going to be a little bit dirty. Got a nice, chunky bit of, I don't know what that plastic is. Uh, I have no idea. Um, chunky bit of uh, storage there for your drinks or whatever. And over to the other side, we've got... Uh, radio which is actually a Sony one that he's installed um, it's a single dim one and uh, yeah got the Bluetooth and in here he's got a uh, slot for USB so you can check the aux on in there as well or in there whatever you want um, and then got a hazard hazards hazards I don't know why I said that it's Eden Hazard um, if you know you know anyway this was his um, phone holder I'm not I don't I don't think I'll get the same um, but it will be in my car accessory vid. Obviously, you've got to get a phone holder, chuck your phone on, maps and that. Um, but yeah, this is a magnetic one. I'll probably take this off if I don't buy that one. We've got a nice little slot there. You maybe check, well, you're going to be using your key, so wouldn't check that in there. Got your aircon and heating and all that. Um, lock it. Child lock. I don't have a child, so that's not going to happen. In here, um, we've got, he did say this has come off a bit, so that, that, yeah, that's uh, that's the thing. And you've got like all your little change and uh, your cigarette thing. Not bad. That's a decent little bit. And then I'll see some more space there. Probably check your phone if you're not using it. Gear stick has worn a bit. Um, there you go. You can see obviously five speed and reverse. Um, handbrake, a little bit worn. It's, it's gonna come though, isn't it? Eighty-three thousand miles. You don't. It doesn't really matter. Um, place for more storage two cup holders there and then the seats you can just see there it's just uh, it's just dirt it literally is just dirt so I'll get them cleaned which is no biggie um, and then pretty cool little thing he added um, Peugeot what are they called I don't even know seat belt covers is that a thing um, pretty nice though I like that and um, I didn't mention but this here you would have seen it hopefully in the um, in the little I don't even know what you call it but um, yeah this is a sun strip so you don't have to always use these um, there we are. You can just use that, so that should block most of the sun. Uh, it says Peugeot 207, so pretty good feature there. Um, we've got the other door, some more storage. We've got how to open the the bonnet there. Um, yeah, and then jump to the back. Five seats in total, so three seats there, two in the front. We got the boot, which we'll get to in a sec, because the boot is pretty interesting. And uh, there's actually something in there that you know. Could be could be quite interesting. We got some uh, floor covers there, and then obviously this one is like more of a I don't know grippy is it? I don't even know what it's for, but um, yeah, and obviously yeah, clutch, accelerating pedals, breaking that. Um, yeah, I think for the inside, the roof's just looking a bit like this. I think that's it for the inside. You got your lights there. Um, I guess I could show you the glove box, which has the car's manual thing, um, the fuse box in there and turn off your airbags which I'm not going to do because if I crash I don't want to die um, right let's get to the boot where I can show you the next thing which uh, has, has some connection with that uh, maybe you can guess I don't know forgot to mention as well he added a little uh, what, what are they called again 
like spo is it spoiler? I feel like that's not the right thing because that adds uh, you know 50 brake horsepower. Anyway, open up. I'm not going to show you the number plate. Open up the boot. You might have seen it there. Bang! Massive Pioneer subwoofer. Um, literally, it is huge, right? So there's my hand. There's the subwoofer. What the heck? And then we've got some uh, petrol and diesel. Don't even know. Oil, probably. Some sort of oil. Motor oil. Yeah, it's pretty mad. Um, yeah, honestly, guys, I can't. I can't lie. I don't know what I, like how everything works here. But um, it is pretty crazy because I have used it. I turned it on, and it was mental. Um, as someone comes past on an electric scooter so awkward honestly um yeah some extra i don't really know more floor mats not sure where they go because there's already some in there down by there but um yeah the subwoofer is so loud and when you link it up to the sony uh, bluetooth system or usb whatever you want and honestly it is booming so um yeah that'll be fun um people are beeping it's all going on uh pretty much i think that's it um yeah think so anyway right then you are literally resting on my steering wheel right now so if, if it falls uh yeah we're in we're in big trouble but um i think that's it for the car showing you around i hope I, nobody really wants to see the engine i don't know if you do you can chuck a comment maybe i'll do it in another video i don't know um I'm trying to think if i've missed anything another one of them there yeah um yeah for a first car i think it's quite nice um does need a bit of a clean but you know that's expected on a second hand car and um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed it um if you did smash a like let me know in the comments below and uh subscribe also and yeah like i said i'm going to be doing a car accessory tour we're going to buy some stuff that um you know make the car more of your own and oh yeah i think that's one thing i forgot there's um uh what are they wind deflectors or something uh by by there and there on on both sides obviously so that's pretty cool as well but um yeah if you enjoyed it please hit the thumbs up and yeah subscribe and any and peace.